Let's take a look at using perpendicular lines to prove angles are congruent. Okay, so we have this diagram and we're given that AC is perpendicular to BD. So you probably already know that when we say that this line is perpendicular to that one, that means that it forms 90 degree angles. So both of these angles are 90 degrees. And while that's very useful in helping us prove these triangles congruent, we can't just say that this happens and therefore these two angles are congruent. I know it makes sense because a lot of it seems intuitive that you, you would be able to write that, but there are a few steps we have to actually write out. So if we have our proof, I'm just going to jump in somewhere in here and say maybe this is step five. Let's write this given information. AC is perpendicular to BD. This is given. Okay. After we write this step, what we should write is that angle ACB and angle ACD are right angles. And the reason for that is perpendicular lines form right angles. After we write that these two angles are right angles, then we can write that they're congruent to each other. So angle ACB is congruent to angle ACD. And this would be because all right angles are congruent. So it seems like there's an extra step, or it may seem to you like there's an extra step, that why do we have to write this? Why can't we just jump and say that they're congruent? Well, because we have to first explain that because they're perpendicular, they form right angles. Then we know that they're congruent because all right angles are congruent. So make sure to include these steps when using this piece of information to prove that these two angles are actually right angles that are congruent to each other.